I am pleased to note that we have more than 34 agreements and memoranda of understanding in various fields, which are now signed and agreed to by both our countries. Furthermore, I'm very happy to learn that several of the agreements and MOUs between our departments are at the various stages of completion and implementation and that we will sign even more agreements very soon. Dear colleagues and excellencies, our senior officials have also through their report asked us to pay special attention to urgent issues such as cross-border movement of goods and services as well as smooth transfer of school-going children across our borders. I am aware that some of these issues have already been discussed in detail by ministers during the one-on-one -on -one interactions and others are yet to receive such attention during the course of our stay in Maseru. I think one of the critical aspects we must address is the prevalence of crime across our borders and we must stop this threat to our citizens and ensure that the law is respected. Our resolve as the two ministers of international relations and cooperation is to work hard at developing our region and to seek there too to change the lives of our people for the better. We don't believe in cooperation for the sake of cooperation. We believe in cooperation for changing the lives of our people. We want to ensure that our youth are educated, that they are trained, and that they are supported to become entrepreneurs and not merely job seekers. We aspire to bring women in both our countries into the mainstream economy so that they play a key role in bolstering economic growth and contribute to sustain prosperity in our countries. In order to achieve this, we must engage more effectively and continue to initiate and implement cooperation projects in the fields of agriculture, mining, infrastructure development, defense and security, economy and finance, trade and investments, as well as social and humanitarian affairs. Attending to these sectors will allow us to raise our bilateral relations to newer heights. It should not be the case that we record that Lesotho has an abundance of diamonds and yet there's no diamond polishing center in Lesotho. Nor do, you see, nor do you see an immensity of jewelry shops selling diamonds made in Lesotho. This must be brought to an end. It cannot be that we boast that South Africa has two thirds of the platinum resources of the entire globe. And yet no value addition occurs in South Africa. This must stop. Together, I strongly believe that we can achieve a great deal and that our joint efforts will be rewarded through vibrant economic transformation in our two countries, which will translate into better lives. For all. We cannot, as Africa, continue to rely on others to do for us. The time has come for us to begin to utilize our resources to develop ourselves and our people. And we need to take on that hard task in a very serious manner. Otherwise, we always look to others. And that should not be. Our people deserve better. Honourable Minister and dear colleagues, 
In essence, I believe the platform created by our structured mechanism enables us to not only reflect on our bilateral cooperation programs, but also to discuss regional, continental, and global issues of mutual interest. Our collaboration must be to the good of the region, must be to the good of Africa, must be to the good of the globe. We together must support those who are marginalized and vulnerable. We should support SADEX initiatives. We should support the freedom struggle of the people of Sahrawi. We should support the freedom struggle of the people of Palestine. Just as we value freedom, so must we support freedom throughout the world.